Development of renewable and low carbon energy can have an impact not only on people's health, but also on businesses and consequently the economy. We went to Aberdeen to find out how the city is taking a novel approach to this issue by introducing a hydrogen strategy that could have a wide reaching effect on the local community and beyond. More and more local governments are looking at initiatives that improve the health and the wealth of local communities across the UK. And here in Aberdeen, it's all about future-proofing the city. The Granite City is currently one of change, undergoing a renaissance, moving away from its roots in oil and gas towards a more diverse economy, colossal infrastructure spends and investment in green energy. And it's still a city determined to be an energy leader. We have the largest offshore wind turbine field deployed, which will supply 70% of Aberdeen's energy needs. We've also got a huge hydrogen project. Next year we'll have the largest fleet of hydrogen buses in the UK. We've managed to leverage the public pound to the tune of every 18 pence we put in. We've got a pound additional investment. This is all part of the Renaissance now, and Aberdeen really want to push the local economy. With an ability to store energy, hydrogen offers a solution to energy supply demands and constraints, and it can be used for transport, heating and power, lessening dependency on the grid. So the city's hydrogen strategy hopes to achieve economic growth, a low-carbon economy and cleaner air. I jumped on one of the hydrogen buses with Dave Phillips from transport company First Group. We think that obviously public transport is the future. Um, when you take into consideration one vehicle, potentially takes 75 cars off the road. Um, and even with the, with the emissions sort of work that's happening with transport now, that when you're talking about low emission zones in the future and the air quality agenda, we can play a great part in, in bringing that and, and achieving that. The city's hydrogen vehicles refuel here at Aberdeen Hydrogen Energy Storage Facility at Aix. Today's modest fleet will grow, so Aberdeen can set an example to the rest of the nation by delivering on Scotland's energy strategy whilst also developing a hydrogen supply chain. The Scottish Government has set a target of uh, doing away with oil and gas, uh, petrol and diesel. But I think we as local authorities, as regional transport partnerships, need to think now about how we position ourselves to make sure that we're able to accept that challenge and going forward. Aberdeen, I think, is at the forefront of that. Energy is a key aspect for our economy, but also for our air quality and for reducing carbon emissions across the, across the board. Change, though, is not always easy, and redesigning the city's Marshall Square in the shadow of Marshall College, for many Aberdeen's historic heart and soul, has meant reaching out to the city to carve out a new central district. We want to make sure we've got top-class office accommodation, along with leisure and retail facilities right in the heart of the city centre. And that's why we want to make sure that that billion pound investment in our capital programme is delivered. We've shown in an innovative approach, particularly around things like hydrogen, that we want to be at the forefront of that. We want to show people that we can embrace new technologies. And I believe that the investment we make, not just in the place itself and the infrastructure, but in the people will, is what matters. There's no more passionate advocate of Aberdeen's hydrogen strategy than Councillor Bell, eager to bring the city into a prosperous new era, underpinned by green energy and the skills of generations of experienced workers. It is predicted by 2050 that 18% uh, of the world's energy will come from hydrogen in an economy worth $2.5 trillion, employing 30 million people. I want to be a part of that. I want the city to be a part of that. So confidence and ambition is the atmosphere here in a city determined to look towards a new, prosperous future.